many, many people's eyes, it was the game of the day yesterday. So let's have a look at round two, shall we? It's not round two in the matter of today's games. Actually, it is. It's the end of round two, isn't it? My mistake. So round two between Painter and Adams. Ding, ding. Round two. As far as the table is concerned, things are looking very interesting. Painter, well, he's got four games left, and all he can do is get to 12 points. The likelihood is Rob Owen is going to get one more win, so Painter pretty much knows he's out of it. And he will be mathematically out of it if he wins nothing in this game against the legend that is Martin Adams. But... Let's just disperse with all of the table stuff at the minute. Just for one game, first let's talk about to throw first. what game this on. game represents. Longevity, that's what it represents. We talk about people coming into the game and how long they can play the game at such a high oh, level. Now, if you think about someone like myself, for instance... My last World Championship was in 2018, or the 2019 Championship. So my first one was the 2009 Championship. So you could say that if I didn't throw another dart in a competitive setting, my career was 10 years, which isn't that bad. But when we're talking about Martin Adams, we're talking about three times that. And we're also talking about that with Kevin Painter. Because it is almost 30 years since he made his England debut, which was back, I believe, in 1994. 134. Did you know, as well, that Kevin Painter's first three darts in an England shirt were a 180? It's one of my favourite little factoids about Kevin, that one. 83. Forty-four. I think about the county teams that these guys have been involved in as well. Scary stuff. Amazing men's air squads. Which, of course, were the breeding ground to get those England shirts. Martin playing for Cambridgeshire with some amazing players there. Like sort of Les Hodkinson, great player from that region. Dennis Harbour. Of course, Painter. Playing for Essex. 50. He was surrounded by greats. Colin Lloyd, Al Hedman. So many players who have come through the county of Essex. 140. And now we've got Keegan Brown, who lives in the Isle of Wight, actually playing for Essex, believe it or not. He's very good pals of Richie Housen, of course, who did very well at the World Seniors, like these two did. Martin, you require 66. Loves a bullseye on a 66 checkout, does Martin. 34. Martin gets the slow zoom on double 16, but with no success. And Painter has a chance to break in leg Kevin, one. you require 48. Two sixteens, as Martin watches on. Game shot on the first leg. Classic painter. painter. 17 dart break. That will do the job, but you fancy later in the game, 17 darters might not be enough. Second leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. Sixty. That's a part of Kevin's game that puzzles me a little bit. Why does he persist on that 60 there when it's blocked? You will see that from both of these players. And as soon as I say that, Martin switches. I could be sitting here all day long talking about Martin's achievements. So I'm going to save some of that for later in the week. But as far as Kevin is concerned, 60. we all know about his successful Players' Championship win back in 2011 beating Mark Webster in the final. I think the victory he enjoyed the most 
apart from the final, was the semi against Scott Rand. That's where he survived a couple of match darts from Cool Hand Rand. Who we don't see much of these days. 140. But let's talk about what else Kevin Painter has done. He has won five PDC titles on top of that major championship. He won the Bob Anderson Classic back in 2002. 59. He won't want me to remind him that was 20 years ago. He won the Eastbourne Pro. That was back in 2007. And he won the Sheppey Classic in 2004. Of course, that was the year that he made the world final. So the Sheppey Classic would have been after that final. He's also won a couple of UK Open qualifiers back in 2004 and 2006. One of them was in Newcastle. And the other was in Southampton. 100. Kevin, you require 120. Can he find the 60 after the blocker here? Just pitches into the dart, as you can see. Now, does he want to fiddle around with treble 16 here? With Martin on 68. This is a, a bit of a quandary when it comes to tactics because that second dart might fall on the floor if he's too greedy. See, Forty it nearly one. did. Martin, you require 68. I think maybe either Tops or Trouble 16 was the player there. But Adams for double four. Doesn't 66. find double two. And now Painter has 79. Kevin, you require 79. Here's, of course, that idea that maybe just hitting a single 20 was a good play. Giving himself 20 in tops. This way, he's only got one dart to double. And Change it's a double he takes. Kevin well, Painter. I'm laughing in the commentary box. Kevin is laughing, and I'm sure Wolfie's probably laughing, thinking, what on earth was that end of the leg? Third leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. It is a break of throw, and they're both having a bit of a giggle. It's serious stuff here, but every now and again, all you can do is smile. Martin won by four legs to three yesterday. 60. Kevin had his best average of the day, 95.38, and lost. But he has got a really good start here, and he's making a really good start to leg 3 2. And I've done Kevin a disservice, actually. I said his debut for the England team was in 94, it was actually in 1993. If you want to watch 60. that debut, it is actually on YouTube. You can find it. Just type in British Internationals Men 1993. I think all of the games are on 95. there. And it's a bit of a who's who, the England team. And, of course, the Scotland and Welsh teams as well. If you've got yourself a few spare hours later tonight, I'd give that a watch. Glorious. He's going to need something like that to stay in this match, that's for sure. Back comes Painter Whoa, with a max of his own. That's what top-rate dart players do. When someone hits them with a 180, they can come back with one of their own. Sixty. Now, can Kevin complete Kevin the four visits to give himself that 3-0 lead? Could be equaling the best leg of the week, which he holds. Game shot and now it's a 12 dart at Kevin Painter. one of his best legs of the week. And with a 3-0 lead against Wolfie, there was one person in this building thinking, I'm liking this, and that's Robert Owen. Fourth leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. Just imagine if Robert Owen comes into his next match, which is following this against Mike Warburton, after 30. a 4-0 loss for Wolfie, which keeps him on 10 points and reduces his leg difference to plus 7, which would mean Owen would lead on points and leg difference for the first time in this group. 140. 
hate to say it, but it has to be addressed. And I'm kind of glad that Kevin can't hear me when I say this. Because if he could, he'd probably clip my lug. He did have a 3-0 lead yesterday. He did lose it. He doesn't want it to happen again. One hundred and eighty. Well, Adams is starting to find those maximums, that's for sure. But if Kevin is to relinquish a leg, I suppose 100. this is the one to relinquish. On Martin's... Well, actually, it's not because it's Kevin's throw. He doesn't want to relinquish this one. <laughs> because imagine if he does, and then Martin does hold his throw on the next one. All of a sudden, it's 3-2. It's a 140. very different game. One hundred. So Martin, you require it's Martin's 41. turn for an eleven darter attempt. Double sixteen for that four visit leg. Game shot. Very good. Equalises the best leg of the week so far. We may see a ten darter at some point, or possibly a nine. But for now, we will settle for 11s, that's for sure. 3-1 to paint that. Martin to throw first. If he Game wants on. to win by four legs to two, he must find a break of throw. And like yesterday, the averages are good in this game. What is it about these somewhat old-school England legends when they play each other? They just know how to lift their levels. One hundred and eighty. Now, I've said a lot of things about Kevin the last day and a half, but that right there was the best visit of his week, scoring-wise. Not just because it was a 180, but because the rhythm was so much better than every single visit he's had. It looked inevitable. When he plays slightly quicker and in this rhythm, he's so much better. So much better. He's what I call Kevin getting on with it, Painter. He has his problem, though. Painter's hit five treble twenties out of six darts, but Wolfie's got the darts, and he's hitting this an absolute truck full as well. And he's looking for a second consecutive 11 darter. A somewhat sickening blow to the belief that Painter might win 4-1. 85. Martin, you require 56. Is it two consecutive 11 darters? Game no, but it is a 12. Martin and Adams. in the last three legs, we have had 12 darter, 11 darter, 12 darter. Yeah, this is a good game, all right. Sixth leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. This is the one that Kevin wants to win. He does not want to go to the last leg because Adams would have the darts. 140. Look at that. Confident look. Somewhat cocky. No wrong with that. Thoroughly enjoyed this game once again. I could just watch these guys play 15 times a day. He can't get rid of him. He can't get rid of him. I tell you what, if Painter hits a 180, Adams would say, stick the quad board up there, I'll get a 240. 140. What a game. I want to make this one best of 11. And now Kevin's thinking, boy, oh boy, he's hit a 20. Not for long. Not for long. Of course he hits a 140. This game is just bringing the smiles out of me today. Oh, fair play to you. Fair play, Kev. You're going to get a look at that 81. You deserve it after this scoring performance. Now, a lot of people would go bull or 25 here. But he doesn't do that. He's aggressive and he gets the 140. Game on the line. Kevin, you require 81. If you're Kevin Painter, potentially. Oh, 
Could we finish with two 11s and two 12s and four legs? Yeah, oh, what a game. What a game Kevin that Painter. was from start to finish. And unbelievably, you are going to see a massive losing average from Martin Adams. It's enormous. And the winning average is 103. Adams has averaged 108.7 and lost four legs to two. What a game that was. I wish we could just rewind and rewatch that. Stunning game of darts. Well done, Kevin Painter. And Robert Owen now loves you to bits because he's kept his two-point lead at the top as we go into round three of the matches. <laughs> Thank you.